Can someone have both Hashimoto's and Graves' disease at the same time? Yes, they can, but this is an extremely rare occurrence. So the Epstein-Barr virus is definitely the most common infection that we see involved in these conditions. And this is tested through blood testing, and that'll tell you if you have what we call reactivation of the virus. Since most people have it, we want to know if it's reactivated. So the Epstein-Barr virus is a herpes virus. And so if it's reactivated, we have to ask the question, why uh, can the patient's immune system not control this virus uh, effectively? What are the most common triggers of Hashimoto's disease and Graves' disease? Iodine, uh, a lot of times we'll see heavy iodine supplementation as a trigger for these conditions. Um, too much estrogen in the body can be a trigger. And then we'll also see a major stressful traumatic event. This could be psychological or physical traumatic event that can trigger the condition. Uh, vitamin D deficiency, pregnancy. A lot of times after a woman gives birth, she'll develop one of these conditions. And then we talked about the infections earlier. Those tend to be very common as well.